Dobber Dan, and welcome to episode 82 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on making a ship transporter. Now, before I begin, okay, let's just make you aware of some of the problems you're going to encounter if you become a YouTube creator. Now, I'd already made an episode on ship transporter and uploaded it to my channel and within 30 to 60 seconds of the video being published I got a copyright claim on it and the claimant was claiming that a song that was in the video they were copywriting it well as you know I don't have any music or songs in my video and fact number two is because it was 30 to 60 seconds after publishing I know that someone's currently subscribed to me so it must be a YouTube competitor someone else making one videos the long and short of it is is they don't like the competition which I take as a huge compliment um, I thought I was just an old waffler but apparently I'm making some competitor a bit more than a bit jealous so they copyrighted that episode so I'm having to record it again now I don't know if they'll do it again if they do then I shall just have to wait for YouTube to uh, I'll have to sort it out with YouTube and get to the bottom of who it is that's trying this griefing anyway so that's what happened I'm gonna try again so this episode is going to be on making a ship transporter and while, before I get into that though, just to give you a heads up on my Worm Tutorial series, I am starting work on religion episodes uh, shortly, i.e. becoming a follower and then a priest. I will be covering everything excuse me, involved with religion, alignment, favour, faith, the restrictions to choosing a god and how to counter this uh, so you can still do whatever skills you want to. It is an epic subject and will take many episodes to complete, so wish me luck with that. After that I will start on the subject of enchanting, if my skills allow. I'm, all, I'm limited to my skills but then I might use my character that I have in Worm Online who's already achieved enchanting. But anyway, so there we are, there's a little heads up on the future of what I'm doing to do with Worm. We're going to do religion and then enchanting. Okay, so let's start on the building a ship transporter. Why build a ship transporter, you are asking? Well, if your settlement is inland next to a small body of water and you decide that um, you want to move to the coast, then, or vice versa, then you will need a ship transporter to move your boat, if you have one. I shall start by reading the... Um, notes on the Wormpedia with regards to the uh, ship transporter so bear with me one second just while I bring it up on screen okay here's the description a cart designed to transport ships over land yep that's what it does exactly Here's the notes. Ship transporters require 15 fine carpentry to start. So if I bring up my skills, you will see under carpentry that my fine carpentry is easily above that. But just for reference, so you know, you need 15 in fine carpentry in order to make a ship transport. Next, 0 0.50 kilograms of log weight is used when using a log to improve a ship transport. So when we get to imping the ship transporter after building it, it will use 0 0.50 kilograms of log weight each time we imp. Next, 26.65 kilograms of dye is needed to paint a ship transporter. And before you say, yes, I will get to dye a dye episode eventually. I'm not there yet, but I will get there. I will cover everything to do with dyes. Okay, next, 23 body strength is needed to use the load cargo function. So up here under characteristics and body, you will need 23 body strength in order to load 
boats onto your ship transporter. Moving on. 21 mind logic is needed to command the ship transporter. Well, with the ship transporter you can either attach animal, two animals to it, or you can drag it. Okay, so when you right click on it, you'll get the drag option. If I get close enough to put that is, there you go. You so see you can drag it or have animals pulling it. So in order to command it though, you need 21 find logic. So again, you can see I've got enough. Okay, moving on. For security, the ship transporter can be locked with a large padlock. So if you're on a public server or worm online, you can attach a large padlock to it in order to lock it up so it's secure. Moving on, unfinished ships can be loaded onto the transporter. So if you have a half-built ship and you decide you want to move locations, move your settlement, you can load your unfinished ship onto the transporter. That's good to know. Moving on. We will not hold anything but ships. Well, I think that's why it's called a ship transporter, funny enough. So there we go, you can only load ships onto it. You're not going to try loading your wagon onto it unless you've had a few drinks too many. Or you wake up one morning with this absurd, absurd desire to try and load your wagon with its balls onto your ship transporter. So you're just not going to do that. You're not going to go there. There we go. Moving on. We'll not load moored ships or ships you aren't allowed to command. So basically it won't let you roam into someone's village, uh, into their bay, with your ship transporter, load up their boats and carry them off. Basically they have to be your ships in order to use the ship transporter. And secondly, your ship cannot be moored, so we have to raise the anchor before we can load it. So I'm going to show you doing that once we've built it. And last but not least, can be dragged as well as have two animals hit, which I've told you already. So there we go. That's enough of that information from the Wormpedia. Thank you, Wormpedia. Now let's actually make one. Well, first of all, let's have a look at the components we're going to need to make a ship transporter. So let's just get the materials together. Okay, to make a ship transporter, you're going to need two logs, four small nails, one shaft, one yoke, and two small wheel axles, and ten planks. Now, the, um, <coughs> the ship transporter, the wood that we're going to use, is cedar wood. Because it's like a storage bin or a cart, it's an item that's going to be in the world, it's not going to be used as a tool so we want it to take damage more slowly to achieve that we will make it out of cedar wood which is what i'm going to show you okay so we're going to build it here next to the boats so that we can easily load in the uh, rowing boat to start with now before i continue though i'll ask you a question can you load a boat that has items in its inventory onto your ship transporter so I will give you a chance to think about the answer to that and I will continue with this tutorial so let's disembark and let's build this ship transporter now to start the ship transporter we will need one plank and one small wheel axle now we'll lo load up the recipe window and you can see here, I've got it already, and there's the materials that I just listed off to you. Okay, so we need to start though with a plank and a small wheel app. So let's add the ship transporter to the recipe window. Okay, there it is, let's click create. And there we are. Now we right click on that and add it to the crafting window. And now we need to add these components. So let's start by adding the small nails. Remember we want to make sure it's made of cedar wood. So we will make sure the last item we add is cedar wood. Okay, let's continue. Now 
Okay, that's the nails done. Let's do the yoke. Let's do the logs. Let's do the shaft. Oh, I've made a mistake here because I need three more shafts. That's okay. We'll do the planks. Then I'm going to make some shafts. I think I've got some shafts already made, but what I will do, I will pull out one log, just in case. In fact, they're so easy and quick to make, let's just make a shaft. So, let's add that to the crafting window. Let's create four. There you go. Let's add that back to the crafting window. Let's add the rest of the shafts. And continue. Let's add the small wheel axle. Okay, and there we are. Bang. We now have a ship transporter. So what I'm going to do is let's stand back so we can take a look at this beauty. Notice my fine carpentry went up even more. Okay, so let's go and have a look. And there we are. There is our ship transporter. Right, it's all well and good us making one, but how do we load and unload the ship transporter? Well, for starters, you're either going to attach two animals or you're going to drag it around. <coughs> Excuse me, obviously I would recommend attaching two, two animals to your ship transporter. Right, now to load one of your boats, first you have to embark your boat. Then you have to raise anchor. And then we're going to get on the ship transporter quickly so we can load the boat. Okay, so we're going to now move the boat in. Let's disembark. We now embark on the ship transporter. We now right click on the boat and load cargo. That is how you load your boat onto your ship transporter. You're now asking. So how, Gamester, do we unload our boats from the ship transporter? Okay, what you have to do to unload your boat, right-click the cart, the transporter I mean, click open, you'll see your boat in there, right-click on your boat, stand as near as to the water as you can be, and then unload cargo. And there you are, that puts the boat back in the water. So that is how you load and unload your boats onto your ship transporter. Easy, eh? When you know how. Anyway, so let's re-moor boat. There we go. Okay, so I asked you a question a while back to engage you. I do like to do that in my episodes. The question was, if you have a boat and it has items in its inventory, can you load it on the ship transporter so let's give it a try so you'll know for fact okay so we're gonna drag it first of all over near the boat seems to have horribly crashed into the wall hey never mind okay so if you uh, that should put it right over the boat. Okay, right, so stop dragging. Now, okay, before we can test this theory, I need to embark as the commander. I need to raise the anchor. Funny, as anchor was the one who built the boat. Okay, now we disembark. Now let's try and load the NAR. So we embark as a commander, we right click the NAR and load cargo. Okay, down here, the humble travels must be empty before being loaded onto the ship transporter. 
So the answer to that question is it has to be empty. If you want to put a boat onto the ship transporter, first have to um, empty out all the contents from your boat. Otherwise, you will not be able to load it onto your ship transporter. Okay, let's remold that. So there we have it. That is how you load, unload, and the limitation with what you can load onto the ship transporter. Now, this is the second attempt at this video. I do hope that whoever it is who's trying to grief me will only do it the once, in which case I'm not bothered and I'll let it go. But obviously there is a strong possibility that they're going to try and do this every time I release a video, in which case I will first take it up with YouTube and then see how I can take it further if they persist with their grief. Anyway, that's my problems for the day. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Have a fantastic day and thank you for watching. Oh, and happy boat building. Bye. Goodbye.